welcome to Unmole Power BI Corner, your go-to solution for Power BI and Microsoft Fabric. Today in this video, we will discuss about how you can create a calculation group by just one click in Power BI using the TMDL view. Before coming to the video, if I can share about myself, my name is Anmol Malvi and currently I am working as a senior data analyst at Adend Analytics and I have also been recognized as a Microsoft super user and have completed the Power BI PL300 certificate and Fabric certificates. So do subscribe this channel for more such useful videos. So coming back to our video, in this video we will see how you can create the calculation group. So you might have created calculation group earlier. The traditional method involves you have to go to the model view then you have to switch to this model tab and from here you can right click on this calculation group button then you have to click on this new calculation group option. Once you click on this then you have to one by one create the different calculation items. And if you are not much familiar with calculation group then do drop a comment and I will share a detailed video on what actually is calculation group and how it is used. Just for a basic overview, uh, a calculation group has been created to reduce the number of multiple measures. So let's say you have to create some time intelligence measures or some similar calculation type measures. So that thing you can do it using the calculation group. right? So now let's see how you can create a, cal a calculation group in just one click. For that you have to enable the TMDL view feature. I've already shared a detailed video on what is TMDL view and how you can enable it. So you can simply go to the channel Unmold Power BI Corner and you will find out the all the detailed videos related to TMDL view. So once you enable this, you have to switch to, uh, to the TMDL view and there are few prerequisites which you have to follow. For this video, we will be using the time intelligence calculation group. We will We are going to create it. So for that, you need a calendar table. Now how you can create this calendar table, uh, I have already shared a detailed video on how you can create a calendar table in just one click. So this table I have created using that similar approach. So you can check it out. We just have to paste the TMDL script and uh, your calendar table will be ready. So I have this calendar table with me and you can see the columns. Uh, we have the date column, date int, date in V and there are so many other columns. And if we go to the model view right now, you can see there is no calculation group has been created. So first thing you need a calendar table. And the second thing which you have to keep in mind is you should enable the implicit measure option. Uh, so if you come to this model view and uh, you have to go to this model option, uh, you have to click on the semantic model but, uh, feature and here you will find out this discourage implicit measure. So you have to keep it to yes. and. Uh, whenever you are creating like if you are creating using TMDL view or you are creating from here by right clicking you have to make sure that this option should be enabled so these are the prerequisites now let's see how you can create the actual calculation group using the TMDL script so I will share the link of the TMDL code which we are going to use so this is the github repository where I have uploaded the script for the calendar table as well as the calculation group. The calendar table you can check from the video and uh, you can simply come to this calculation group script. You have to click on this. Either you can download it or you can simply copy this code. So this is the TMDL code. You just have to copy this and you have to make sure that indentations should be proper. This plays a major role because if any slightly indentation error will be there, the code will throw the error. So you have to copy as it, as it is and you can come back, here, come back here and paste it. So you can see our code is ready. The create or replace table, uh, it is named as the time, uh, time intelligence. As I said, we are going to create the time intelligence calculation group. We are creating year to date, quarter to date, month to date. Now let's say you have to include some more. So what you can do is you have you can simply copy this and paste it just by clicking enter and the logic of your uh, item, whatever you want to create. But for now, we will be creating these basic time intelligence groups. So you just have to paste this and click on the apply button on the top left. Once you click on the apply button, you can see the changes have been applied to the model and uh, one or more calculation group need to be manually refreshed. So you have to just click on this refresh now button and you can see our calculation group is ready. So if you click on this model tab and let's go to the model view to explore it better. 
so we will uh, earlier there is zero calculation group but now time intelligence calculation group is there and we will also see the calculation item within it so one is year to date the complete measure is ready quarter to date month to date and current so you can see if you have to create it one by one you have to click on this uh, then right click new calculation item you have to write down the formula for it then for QTD then for MTD so this repetitive uh, method has been replaced by TMDL view what you have to do is you just have to copy this code paste it and click on the apply button by this simple method your calculation group is ready so this is all about the how you can create calculation group I will also attach the link for the detailed blog in the description as well as the github repository link so that you can simply download and copy paste the tmdl script if you find this helpful then do subscribe the channel and share this with your colleagues or your friends who are also exploring the new features of power bi if you find this helpful then like share and subscribe see you in the next video